Hi everyone, I am Dev Salakshi from CAC Department, Rohini College of Engineering and Technology, CES 3452, Theory of Computation, Unit 1, Automata and Regular Expression. Topic is Deterministic Finite Automata. Objectives to understand the concept of DFA to analyze the problems on DFA. Deterministic Finite Automata. The finite automata is called deterministic finite automata if there is only one path for a specific input from current state to next state. So this is the simple diagram for DFA. From state S0 for input A there is only one path going to Q2. Similarly from Q0 there is only one path for input B going to Q1. Formal definition of DFA. A deterministic finite automation is a collection of the following things. The finite set of states which can be denoted by Q. The finite set of input symbols sigma. The start state Q0 such that Q0 belongs to Q. A set of final state f such that f belongs to q. The mapping function or transition function denoted by do. Two parameters are passed to this transition function. One is current state and another is input symbol. The transition function returns a state which can be called a next state. For example, q1 is equal to do of q0 comma a means from current state to q0 with input a the next state transition is q1 in short the dfa is phi tuple notation denoted as a is equal to q comma sigma comma do comma q0 and f the name of dfa is a which is collection of above described five elements example dfa with Sigma is equal to 0, 1 accepts all starting with 0. So here the three states we are defining. First one is a Q0, Q1 as well as Q2. The starting is indicated that we are starting with the symbol Q0. And then it's more, if you are giving the input as 0 means it will move on to the Q1. And then if you are giving the 1 it will move on to the Q2. The final state will be the Q1. Thank you.